<laughs> hello, greetings, and hello again. It is I, BLG. <laughs> and I'm Lefty. And I'm Righty. <laughs> Welcome back to BLG Studio in the backyard, the art studio. Um, got a little bit of time messing around. Uh, Dimeme is on the phone with a couple of the kids doing a conference yak and chat on a Sunday morning. So I figured I would come out here in the studio with you guys. And uh, we're going to do a little, little, um, I want to get this out of my pocket before I glue my nuts to my fucking crotch. <laughs> Super glue. <laughs> Don't want that. <laughs> Not near the nuts. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I showed you the upcycling the uh, old clock and stuff, right? Here's what we're going to do. Let's get you here. Here you can see. We've got, ooh, pieces and parts and pieces. we got us an old clock here. Okay, so I don't know why that popped out of there actually. <laughs> Ooh, that's real glass. Hear it? I could do a reverse painting right on that glass. No, not going to. I'm going to set this glass very carefully to the side over here. <laughs> here we have the clock face. This piece of paper here. That's kind of what I wanted to get out of there. Uh, I don't know if I can. It might be glued in. Let me get my little screwdriver. Let's see what we get. Kind of poke at it here. I'll work with what I got. Don't get me wrong. This won't be too bad. Because I got a circle here. And that's what we're going to do. I can't get this face out of here. This, <laughs> this frame can just go off to the side right now. Go off over here. Right? So I got my circle here. This is um, oil and acrylic, oil and acrylic uh, canvas sheet paper, canvas paper. See, it's actual canvas. See, eh, eh, eh. but it's flexible, paper-like. So I'm gonna take us a seat of this out of here. Set her down like that, and put that back eh, down there on my shelves. And I want this diameter of a picture, right? So I'm going to set this down right in the middle of this here canvas. And I'm going to grab me a pencil. <laughs> and I'm going to go around there. You'll see. And I'm going to trace around this. Like so. And get me a rough... How big is this circle going to be? Idea like this. Wow, that didn't do the top there very well, did it? Let's see here. We'll get back on. Looks like I hit something. <laughs> get back on here. There we go. Hooey! Look at us a circle. Right now, this roughly going to be the shape of inside of here. See? So now I can set that off to the side done with it. Now, to pick out something I wanted to paint, we have this little Pelican Pete statue thing guy, right? So we're trying to get a little bit of an idea of a Pelican Pete looking thing, but not all of him, see? So what I want to do, I want to get about, maybe about this much of him I'll just get kind of a rough shape here. Something to kind of go by, you know. Just a little idea. Kind of like this idea. That looks all right. Just need to round his nose out a little bit. Like this. And this comes back a little bit deeper than this. Kind of like that. I don't really care about this part there. Just a rough idea. Now his beak comes across about here it looks like. And it kind of curves up. And then it goes back this way. Uh, actually it kind of comes back up this way. And then kind of down like what does it do? I'm not sure. I'm not looking at my reference very well, am I? 
kind of comes like this and it comes actually way back here. His beak comes up like this and then it comes way back here and it curves back up like this. Like that. I'll make that a little bit longer. Kind of like that. Like that, kind of. And his mouthy thing kind of comes kind of a curve along here. And it stops right about there. Okay, close enough. His eyeball is right about, show. It's kind of round. Eyeball looking round like that. Got a little black line here, doesn't really matter. Uh, this comes up like this. It kind of goes like this. Okay. Then this is going to follow along the back here somewhat. Just kind of sketch him out. And, and, and his wing. It's going to take up a big chunk of this. Like so. Comes up along his back here. Like so. Something along this line. Feathers, feathers, blah, blah, blah. Okay, a little splash up here at the top here where his wing is. His back comes up like this. And kind of folds down like that. Okay. And this comes down about to here on his wing. And back up. A little bit of whatever. There he is, kind of, there's, there's a Pelican Pete looking guy. Kind of to me, anyway. It's roughed in. We'll get him looking better here after a while. And this part's kind of a light color right through here. This part here. Okay. So there's our Pelican Pete guy sketched in, right? See him? He's right. Ciao. <laughs> yeah. There he is, kind of sketched in roughly. So I'm not too worried about him at the moment. Let's pick out some color. I want to get um, a little bit of white. Eh. I want to get just a little bit of burnt umber, I think. Uh, a little bit of marsh black. Eh. And I want light. I want some ultramarine blue. I think I'm going to go with those. Eh, eh. This palette's been sitting here dry as a bone now. See? <laughs> that's the palette that I used for the Eagle palette. Uh, beer box, if that's, you know, palette. <laughs> eh. So I don't need a very big brush. We can tell that. What do I want to select? Maybe this one? Looks pretty good. Sounds like it's sprinkling. Sprinkling a bit. I'm going to pick a couple of brushes. Maybe that little flat and that little round there. Whoops. Okay. Uh, my script liner is in here. I'm going to pick that one. I might be able to work with just these. <laughs> I'm not going to go overboard, folks. Just not going to happen. This is going to be a nice little simple painting. Nothing difficult about it. No priming, no nothing, straight painting, okay? So what I want to do is take a little bit of this ultramarine blue straight out of the tube onto me brush. In fact, I want to lighten that. I'm going to mix that with some white. Get me some white. Here, like this. Like this. Yeah. See? I'm going to go over here. You can kind of see. Yeah, there you can see. Ultramarine blue. I'm going to take some of this white. See if I can't get me a nice, nice light sky blue color is what I'm looking for. Really nice light sky blue color. This is looking pretty good. Mix this up. A little bit darker than that if you don't mind. Let's just put a little bit more blue in it. No big deal. A little bit more blue. A little bit more blue for BLG. 
And we're talking. Mm hmm Now we're talking. Mix it all up real good. That looks good. I like that. I'm going to have them a nice light blue sky. So basically, <laughs> everything here <laughs> that you're seeing is going to be light blue in here. Kind of go around our circle. Eh. Come up like this. Kind of just do in here in the circle. Light blue. And yeah, this is going to be kind of thick paint on here for now. So I just kind of want to follow the circle kind of as close as I can. You know what I mean? Uh, the owl that I did, I just kind of, uh, I thinned that paint, okay? <laughs> and I drew my circle with a, a marker. But for right now, we just want to kind of follow along our Pelican Pete guy. If you need to, switch hands. <laughs> no big deal. Just kind of try to ease this up here to him. Nice and smooth. He doesn't have to be perfectly outlined, but I want to get close. You see what I mean? Just close enough where it'll fill in the rest as we go. Okay, a little more. A little more. Just following along the line here. Kind of nice and easy like. I'm liking that for a long to beak. Come in here. We'll just fill in the rest of this. And we're supposed to have really strong thunderstorms today. I'll keep you guys informed as we go along throughout the day. Because that's going to be badass if we can get something cool going on. Let me see. Pelican Pete's neck is a little bit thick, I think, right through here. So we're going to take him down a notch. Kind of like this. His beak. Kind of like that. Around his little chest area here. Like so. Yeah, kind of, you know, you get the idea. Go around his little head here on this side. Just kind of give a nice follow along here. Eh, eh. Upcycling an old clock. <laughs> an old battery operated clock that quit working. We're going to turn it into wall art. Hang it back up on the wall. It won't keep time, but by God, it should look fairly cool, yeah? That's a little thick right there, there. We'll make a bump here. Kind of come down like this. Yeah. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Just want to kind of define that shoulder right there. We'll slather this paint down along this circle. Yeah. Like so. A little bit more paint for the old BLG ster. Eh. Nicely. Going nice. And don't worry about it. I don't bother too much when I'm doing small stuff like this or just filling background. I don't worry a whole lot about like, oh my god, there's brush strokes in it. Yeah, yeah, there is. I don't care. I kind of like that look sometimes. Depending on what I'm painting, you know what I mean? You're painting it got to be smooth. I don't know who the hell told you that. You tell them old BLG said it's fine. I don't care. Brush strokes going this way. Brush strokes going that way. You're laying down layers of color, folks. That's all there is to it. All right. I'll kind of smooth it out a little bit here. There we go. That looks pretty Pelican Pete-like to me. Make sure all my little canvas pores are filled in here. Here's and there's. And I want to get just a little bit there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. All right, uh, I'm going to wipe off my brush. I'll just wipe it off up here on here. Wipe it off on a paper towel. Get me a little bit of white. I'm just going to kind of fluff in a little bit of, a little bit of sky, cloudy looking action. Just kind of roughed in. It's hazy. It's going to be in the background. You know what I mean? The fucking cat. Haze in some white clouds. Background kind of action here. I'll get that haze in just a minute. Just going to kind of haze in some shit. Here's and there's. 
You can go outside and circle a little if you need to, if you want to. It's kind of hazy cloudy. We'll haze this guy in over here a little bit. This cloud's going to be kind of like this shape. Kind of going off to the side here. Just kind of fuzz them up, you know, cloud-like. <laughs> this one's going to go all the way to Pelican Pete's face. There we go. Just like that kind of looking. Little clouds in the background kind of thing, you know what I mean? I think that looks pretty good. We'll put just like a little stripey thing here, kind of like this. The stripey thing over here, kind of, you can barely see it, but it's there kind of thing, you know what I mean? Kind of like that. That looks good. And there you have a little bit of background for Pelican Pete. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, looking at this again, I'm going to wash my brush this time with a little, whoops, I got a big jar of water over here. I wash it about every two or three paintings because I really don't get my colors too awful bad. I don't mind if they blend a little bit, but not. I don't try not to get too bad with them. There we go. All right. Looks good to me. Looks good to you. Looks good to me. Okay, there we go. Now... I want to need just a touch of yellow or something. That's kind of cool. I didn't notice that. A touch of yellow or a touch of brown. I only need some black. Here's my burnt umber. I'll get some of this on here. Ooh, that's just water. <laughs> I'll mix this up. That's not going to work very well. Mix the paint. Mix the paint. You just squish it like this in the tube. Try to get some mixed up. I haven't used it for a little while. And it sits out here year round, which you're not really supposed to do. It's kind of shitty looking, but that'll make it work. And a little bit of Mars Black. We'll put that down here. Down here. Down. Eh. Well, eh. Put some of that down here. There we go. <laughs> now, looking at his top of his head here, that looks to be like just a touch of yellow with some white kind of a color. I'm not sure why, but it's kind of an ochre color. This looks good. So up along his beak here, eh. we're going to follow this part of his beak with this color here. Still using the same brush. I may switch over To my little pointy brush here pretty quick but I'm going to get some of this color here on here yeah it's looking all right make sure I got enough to cover the pencil we will add a little bit more <clears throat> darker tones as we go here that looks good that looks really good like so all right my stomach's making orc sounds. Okay, and we got the top of his head. Right up along the top of his head here, his little head. It's got like a little feather sticking up. Little feathers sticking up over here. The top of his head is this color here too, on this part. Right at the top here. I don't know if I'm in the way or not. I probably am. I'll switch here. The top of his little head just kind of make it a little bit fuzzy because Pelican's got these little bitty feathers, you know, on their head and stuff. So it can be a little bit fuzzy. Work our way up around here. Eh, eh. Just to make a nice little easy quick picture. It's nothing super fancy. We'll bring that out to match this a little bit. That's getting even bigger. That's going to be too big. <laughs> BLG's fucking up Pirate Pelican Pete here. And then we'll get him. We'll get him. Very nicely here we'll get him. No problems. I'll come back into the blue. Come on this one more time here like this. Eh. Okay. 
I'm going to wipe that off. That's all of that color for the most, well, actually, it's got just a little bit of a lighter white looking bluish white, yellowy, whitey blue. Comes down his wing here, kind of along in this section. We'll slap that on here. Kind of hooks like this. It comes down and around this area of his wing and around his back. Kind of like that. We'll get that on here, kind of a dirty color. Like so. Okay, let's brush this off now. Um, the blue. I wanted to wash this. I want to patch up the back of his head here, <laughs> where I kind of botched. Eh. We'll come back into this sky blue that we mixed up, this nice blue. And we'll just come back in, follow his little head back around here. Eh. Eh. <laughs> just kind of blend that in with this blue which actually kind of got away from me <laughs> it dried <laughs> eh, eh. here we go we'll just blend this back in with the sky at least close as we can we'll make it part of this cloud here looking coming across all cloud looking Put a little bit of grays up in here. Just kind of blend everything in. A little over there. Just to say, hey, look at that cloud. Smooth that out a little more. Fluff that. A little bit of grays down in there. There we go. That looks good enough. From a distance, it'll look great. Now, at this point, we're done with this brush. So I'm going to wash it off. Eh, that's going to be too big a brush for me now. I wash them, but I don't leave them out here. I take them in the kitchen when I'm done and I finish them from there. I think we're going to try this brush here now. I'm going to come into this brown. I'm going to darken it just a bit. Eh, not quite that dark. A little more brown to the darkness here. I'm going to mix up a little of this. Get the color I'm looking for. And that looks about right. Get some dirty brown, baby. I'm going to come down along here on his back. Eh. I'm going to do this little part here. We'll rough this in. This is where his back kind of comes up and around. Like so. about like so okay his back kind of comes right on down to here like that kind of like that and this brown goes down along here kind of just fade this down along here along the bottom here like so like that comes up around his face up here let's get some more comes up around his eye around his face here and up to here Mm-hmm. Kind of does that, and it goes across here to this beak. Kind of like that. Mm-hmm. That was good. So we got that brown. I want to take that and I want to lighten that up some. Make more of a tan color. Smoky grayish tan color. And that is going to be his color from right about here. Come down this way. Just kind of follow along. 
Eh, eh, eh. It's his little chest feathers going to be. His little chest comes like that. And the same color here looks like it kind of, well, a little darker than that. A little darker than that. Let's get some straight brown going here. Yeah, a little darker. Like this color, we'll come in here, finish out his wing. His wing rounded out like this. Okay, and his wing comes down, making my feathers go this way. It kind of comes down into this other darker part here. See, kind of keep it a little bit lighter. Here's and there's, here's and there's. Eh, 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 eh. Just like so. Okay, and this part here is even this little lighter color brown on his little back. So we'll kind of come here and fuzz this up a little. Just making it kind of fuzzy. It ain't going to be a photorealistic picture, but this is my version of Pelican Pete. <laughs> There's little big dots in the slider part of his wing here. So just come real light touch and we'll put some little bitty dots in here. Tie this feather down, see? To his wing. And his back and everything. Put some little dots in this color here. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm kind of digging that. Looks alright. Okay, um... Now I want some damn near black, damn near black brown, really dark. And this is going to do the rest of his, it's going to do the rest of his uh, beak area down in through here and his head comes in. Here's the bottom of his beak, comes up like this here, and it swirls around his eye. Comes up to this peak, peak up here, like that. It follows down around here, nice and easy. Oh God, that's this brush gets a little rough on me once in a while. I don't know why. <laughs> it kind of gets a little out of hand on me. We got it though, folks. We got this. We'll come here, and this will kind of. Pokey dot down into his chest here area. Kind of like that. That looks pretty good. Something along that line looks alright. I don't like them. We'll put some little bitty dots around here just to kind of feather this all up. Break up this line a bit. Something like so. Little barely touchies. This part I want sharp. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> now we're coming in with a liner brush, folks. <laughs> this brush is done. I'm going to use my liner now. My script liner. And we're going to get some of this lighter color here of the brown. I'm going to put some streaks in his wings here. Just kind of eh, eh, like this. And uh, maybe one up here. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Some streaks. A little bit of a line right through here. Eh. Some feathers here. Feather there. Just kind of an uh, idea that there's feathers going on in his wing here. A little eh. Eh. Little things like this. Eh. <laughs> Don't gotta be perfect. Just some like feathery looking stuff. And that'll feather him up. Give old Pelican Pete some fucking feathers. And there's little white spots maybe on his back here. Some little feathers here. So we'll kind of do this. Kind of like that, you know. He's just chilling out, being groovy, digging the world, man. 
kind of blend this up a little easier like that back into this real light yellowy color because I kind of botched that up a little bit we'll come into here we'll kind of spread some more of this color throughout here widen this out just a touch down through here and smooth it out with the rest of his body like this now we're talking yeah see now we're talking we're getting them okay rinse my brush eh eh I want this real dark color again <laughs> we're gonna come down here and we're gonna fine line this out the rest of his beak comes down to a point down here come on give me some water I want this a little bit more runny than this just like ink eh eh not quite that thick thin I mean eh yeah, yeah, that's close. Okay. Yeah. When we come like this, I want back into this. <laughs> I'm going to give him some little fuzzies on his body this way. See if I can mix up a little bit more of that light color here. <laughs> Real light. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to give him some little fuzzies. Little fluffies on his body here. Kind of eh, 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 eh. Fuzzy him up here. Kind of make sure he's got an outline of a body. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Something like that. A little bit darker feathers right along the outside edge here. I just kind of want to get him. Eh, 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 eh. Well, we know that's his body right along there. Give him just a little shadow along his body. Little dots. Just little dots like that. And uh, maybe right along here. Okay. Now, some really light kind of marks on his beak. Just little light marks up on his beak. Kind of here's and there's. Round it down this way. Round it down this way. So his beak is going to look kind of round. And have some shadow to it. Kind of like this. Something kind of comes along here. Kind of smooths down along here. Something along like that. Okay, now I want to, um, yeah, this is kind of dry. I want to kind of see if I can muddy this up a touch. Yeah, like this, you see? Kind of muddy this up just a touch along through here. Eh, like this, yes, yes. Muddy that. Just kind of smooth this in so it looks like his beak. A little bit like that. That's yeah, looking good. Script liner, solid black. Come back through here. Yes, I know we're going to touch this up too. Just a little bit. That. Right through here has got to go. Okay. Like that. Um. We'll put a little. Give him a nostril. <laughs> the model doesn't show one, but I'm putting one on there. I want to get this a little bit lighter color here. Just ever so lighter. Like this. And I want to distinguish his beak from his neck. His beak comes from about here. Just a little bit of a line. 
comes down here and kind of comes like this. There we go. Kind of like that. Now I'm going to put just a couple little really light highlights in it to show that it's his beak. This is just me doing what I do. <laughs> you don't have to do it by any means. Not by any means at all. I'm going to kind of lighten this edge right here a little bit. Bring them together like that. And take this brush, which has been washed. The one I just did is a little beaky thing here. I'm just going to kind of tap this here and there. It's like that. See? I'm going to do that. Um, just give him an eyeball. His eyeball is kind of a yellowy. And I'm going to wash this out. <laughs> That's too dark. <laughs> Wash the brush. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to go into some yellow. A little bit of white. Pale this yellow down a little bit. I'm going to give him his eyeball. It's more or less round, I guess, for the most part. Eh. Eh. A little more this way. Kind of like that, shaped. And then, dry this off. Get some straight black. Load this up. And it goes kind of around his eye like this. And it comes back to a peak. Kind of goes around his eye in black like this. Yeah. And then he's got his dot. Just like that. See? Okay. Now I'm back in the top of his head up here. I want just a little bit of this light brown again. I'm going to give him just a little, little pink feathery things up here too. We do believe we do. Just to make sure he's got little pin feather thingies to tie him in. It shows he's a bird, I guess. Little spots and little lines and what have you. Put some down through here even. Even some little dark ones down here. Why not? Down into there. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I like that. Come along his wing here. Eh. Right at the edge here. Eh, eh. Okay. I don't know if I can get a little bitty white spot. Watch this, folks. I'm about to get stupid. And just a little bitty touch of white right there on his eye. Eh. Yeah, I can. Okay. I'm going to smooth these in just a little bit. It's looking pretty good. Smooth this down this way a little more. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. Like this. More highlighted down along through here. I'm just using a little bit of white just around the outside, making kind of Stand out a little bit better here on the back side. No big deal there. We'll get a little bit of white here. Just adding little layers of colors. Try to get them a little bit of depth and feel. Nothing super spectacular about it. Not really. That's pretty cool. Okay, now we're going to go back and touch up our little bit of blue. We'll mix up a little bit more little sky blue here with our little script liner thing. Eh, eh. A little bit more of our sky blue color. 
which has of course dried up on us again. We'll try to match that again best that we can. The best that we can. And right up along his face here. Oh, that's almost perfect. Right up along his bill. We'll clean this edge up right through here. Eh. Eh. Along his neck right here. Straighten this up a little here. Just making little dabs and dots. I seen that there too, folks. Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> Any place you see little dabs and dots that might look a little bit off, dab a little more blue there. That looks pretty good along there, actually. I kind of like that. Yes, yes. All right. There he is. I don't know if you can really see him. <laughs> There's our little pelican. In fact, I think I want a little bit more um, beaky color. Give me some of this again. I don't want green. I want to lighten this just a touch. I want to get just a little dab of white. And I'm just going to give a little highlight to his beak right through here. And thin this line here out a little bit. Yeah, something like that, see? There's our little Pelican Pete, little white ones in his head, too. Lighten some of these up just a touch and put a little white in his head. Little white dots. I just keep going back and over fucking around, but that's just what I do. <laughs> it's a habit, you know? Not a nun hat, but, you know, it's just something I kind of end up doing. I've actually gone back and ruined paintings and had to paint over them again. There you go. There's a little pelican guy sitting down. <laughs> um, let me wash this real quick. Yeah, there you go. He's a little pelican guy for the moment. Um, zoom in. There you go. There's a little pelican dude sitting down. Just being groovy, yeah. You know what? I got an idea. Uh, let me get my hair dryer. I'm gonna dry this with my hair dryer, right quick. It doesn't take long. Eh, it takes longer to get it out of the box than it takes to dry a painting. Trust me. See, I've got nine outlets down here. Where's one I can plug into real easy? Um, right here. <laughs> eh, eh. See, so I'm gonna take these brushes and I'm going to dry this painting real quick got it on hot and that's dry pretty much to the touch I'm going to take a little bit of black just a little bit and I want to put like little birds way out here in the background Give him a little tail. <laughs> Couple little birds. Maybe I'll throw, you know what, I'll be weird. I'm going <laughs> to clean this off. Get me a little bit of white. I'm going to throw a little white son bitch in here. You just kind of give them an idea that there's a head and a wing. Little tail. I'll make this guy here a little bigger. Like this. I'll make this one. Get a little more, more black. We'll make this guy here a seagull. Just enough where you can see that he's a seagull. Check him out. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm going to get, I guess I'll just stay in the black. And um, I guess I'll sign him right here. 
put a little little signature on here. Like that. A little 20 down below. Like that. Clean my brush. Dry this again. <laughs> um eh. Dry them again. If I go here, you can still see, yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's all dry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my circle very carefully. I'm going to cut my circle out around here as close as I can, right? So I got my scissors. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Let me zoom you back out here if you don't mind. Zoom me out here like this. Now I am going to very easily, carefully, I'm going to start cutting my picture out just inside of this line here see very carefully going around looks like it's going to be hand cut it's not going to be perfect but it'll do just try to stay concentrated inside the little line just inside the little line it should come out all right we don't worry too bad about this we just want a good steady line. Ruff, ruff, that's a big black puppy next door. He's cool. He's a good boy. It's going to be a little wide there. Here, get this off of me. <laughs> Here we go. Trim that a bit. We go. Getting there. <laughs> okay, now what we do is we take our thing here, get this out of the way. And see this stuff, this part here, I'll keep. Just in case I want to I do something small. <laughs> I'll keep them little scraps. Now I'm gonna take this. And we want to see, line up at 12 o'clock with the center at the top, see if this fits in here yet. And uh, you can see it needs to be smaller. So we'll go a little smaller, a little smaller around, so I get some of this trimmed off. <laughs> so the razor knife comes out. <laughs> How we doing? Ooh, we're looking really good. A little more around the bottom here. Was the bottom okay to trim? I think it was. For the most part, yeah. Trim the bottom off a little more. Now how we doing? How you doing? Hey! It's me, Lefty. How you doing? Got birds hopping around on the freaking roof. <laughs> you can hear their little feetsies. Alright, line it up your middle again with your 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock, top and the bottom. Oh, folks, that is so close. I want to take a little more off the bottom. Just a, eh. It won't give it back now. I want to take just a little more off of this bottom here. It's a little egged. It doesn't matter. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Trim her on up. Like so. Line her back up. We're going to call that close enough. I think I can wedge that in there pretty well. Okay. We're going to try to get it back. <laughs> Maybe just a touch more. Mark that corner there. Now what I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm, I've got one somewhere. Got me a black marker. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to kind of darken out this outer edge here. Eh, 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 eh. Just around here, this outer little edge, make it darker. Just going to make it a little darker around the edge, like so. There we 
we go. Now, I want to take double-sided tape, or double-sided if you have it. I want to take some scotch tape, and, and you're going to make it double-sided. You're going to take it like this, fold it, sticky side uh, point out, and stick it to itself. See, and then you can take it like this, and put one up here by the 12. See, and you kind of lay it out like this. Okay, and I'm going to take another one. Uh, make another one again, like this. You're all zoomed in still. Oh, you can still see. No, you're zoomed out. Okay, so I'll take this like this. And put one over here. And it's going to stick just like this. See? Yes, yes. I'm going to take one like this. Eh. I'm going to stick it down. I'm going to take one like this. <laughs> I'm going to stick it down. Eh. Over here on this side. You're getting it. See? I'm going to take one here. Just keep making a couple here. If you have Elmer's glue, by all means, you can just put glue on the back of your canvas. Squish it down in there and let her dry. I don't have Elmer's glue on me, so I'm just using tape. So what I did with my owl. <laughs> I just used some tape. <laughs> Works just fine. I'm going to get a little bit for the bottom here. Yeah. Just enough. Hold everything in and not overlap or be too awful crazy with itself. Like this. Yeah. Okay. Now we've got that in. Line up again with your center, what you want to be center of your picture. With 12 o'clock, we'll push in our canvas. Get it all poked in here real nice. Press it down on the tape real good. This is where you would spread out and spread, you know, make sure it's all on the glue real good. This is working just fine. I do have a little piece right there, but that is absolutely fine. Just like this. I will take this black marker and black that edge out right here. Wash that out again. That'll go in and get finished washed. I'll get this out of the way before I make a mess. Now we get to figure out how to put this clock back together, right? <laughs> this is going to be cool. <laughs> um, obviously this went here. Oh, 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 I see, I see. Or do I? Does this sit over this? Yes, it does. Okay, this sits over this. This goes in here. <laughs> the glass goes in from the back, right? I've got this backwards. The glass comes in from the back here. Yes, yes. And we have one, two, three, and four holes that line up top centered, side, and bottom. Now, oh god, all we got to do is line these up and put our little dinky screws back in. I think I got that lined up on the first shot here. <laughs> Let's put our little dinky screw back in. If we can get it started at the 12, I will be very happy. Come on, baby. Light my fire. Fuck yeah. See, and there's your hang up. And that makes that's why I said 12 o'clock top of your picture. See, that gives you your perfectly centered hang up spot. So let's go down here and line up six. Eh, screw six down. Yeah, and we'll take eh, Mr. Three o'clock. Are you saying it's 9 o'clock, BLG? No, not by the time you flip it. That's the 3. <laughs> and then you throw that screw away because you're going to lose it. Clumsy. Clumsy. No. Eh. You take your last screw and put it back in here like that. Eh. 
Put all this over back where it belongs on the shelf over here. Close that for you kill yourself, BLT. And that can go over here. Turn it over. Oh, God damn it. It's doing that fully down thing again. Still need to get a new tripod. But, folks, <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Recycled clock. Uh, let me see if I got a see if I got something that sticks out far enough to actually hang it up. Yeah, dude. Here you go. Real quick. I don't think it's going to fall. It fell! Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what it just did. Let's try this one. <clears throat> See, I've got wire hung up all over the place. Picture hanging wire. <laughs> Let me try it. At least it didn't break the glass, I don't think. We'll look. <laughs> when that sucks some monkey ass. <laughs> okay, unedit. <laughs> eh. There you have it, folks. All nicely hung up. I'm trying to keep the glare of the light out of it. But there you have it. In fact, in fact, shut this light off. That's this one. Yeah, there you go. There you have it. A nice re upcycled clock. There's how you do it. If you go to the flea markets, you find an old clock that doesn't work, or you just have one at home, batteries and all the clock quit working, quit keeping time. There's how you make it, uh, put it back up on wall. Even looks like he's looking through a porthole. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed yourself for this little trip with BLG today. I had fun with you. Hope you had fun with old BLG. I believe I'm going to go in and uh, see what time it is because I'm thirsty. It might be beer time for old BLG, you know what I mean? Uh, um, yeah, so um, hit the little like button, subscribe if you will. And uh, I guess that's going to be it for this video. I will keep you updated if it starts storming really big time. We'll get a good little video out of that. So, four hands on with BLG, four BLG. I am BLG, I am Lefty, and I am Righty. We'll see you guys in the next exciting video. Once again, I hope you had fun. I appreciate you guys. Goodbye. <laughs> Hands on with BLG. You never know what you will see. Oh, yes, sirree. Hands on with BLG. <laughs> Stick around.